Merry Meet, everyone. I'm finishing a reading for the Raven 23, and I was going to start in the in the question. I'm sorry, the card position, which is going to be number seven, eight, nine, ten, number eleven, and this is regarding spiritual friends and or you know how the aura is around you. Now we get the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and it seems that people are kind of not positive right now in regarding your projects. On um, any project that you're working on right now, it looks like there is some people that are not positive and are not in the same line as you are. And it seems that maybe you have talked about this too much with other people, and the other people's influences and energies regarding your projects have influenced it a lot and have bought you a little bit of negativity in your projects. So there are people that are very negative in regards to your projects. The last card is the outcome of the reading, and this is basically going to tell us how things are going to evolve. And we have the death card in reverse. The death card always talks about transformation, always talks about things that radically change for us. There is going to be a radical change, but it's totally going to be not what you expect. It's going to be totally different from what you were thinking of. And it's going to come in the next month, is what I'm seeing here. In the next four weeks, this is going to come about, in which things are going to come up, and, and they're going to turn out in, in a way that you didn't expect it to be. Um, you pretty much thought it was going to be in one way, and it's totally going to be in another way. It's also talking about um, maybe turning your back on the future. So you're feeling like, you're going to feel like, you're in the limbo, like things aren't working out as you want them to, or, or things aren't going as you want them to. So that's what this card is saying, that things are going to turn up, and there's going to be a transformation, and it's going to be totally, totally radical change. And you're not going to know what to do, but at the same token, um, it's saying that um, it's, it's pretty much going to be a very big change for you. So the questions you had regarding family, again, they talk about a lot of problems in that area because they're saying here in the cards, the Nine of Swords in reverse is saying that basically things aren't looking up in that area. Um, your family and you are in a kind of in an icy mode right now, and things aren't um, kind of looking up in that area again. There, there, there's a lot of problems and challenges and disagreements in your la in your family with you. So things are pretty much going to stay like that for a bit temporarily until things get better later on. So that's what I'm getting here. Okay. And I think that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed my reading. Please don't feel like you can't ask me anything. You can. And if you need another question or you need another reading, let me know. I'll be more than glad to help you with that. Sorry about my voice. I'm overcoming a really bad cold that I that I got, and I'm feeling a lot better today. And uh, I took the day off just to relax at home. So yeah. So I hope you feel better in every area in your life, and things get better for you. Um, there's a lot of transformation going on. There's a lot of disagreements in your life right now. A lot of negative energies. I would suggest and I would recommend that you do a cleansing if you believe in it. Just do a total um, like cleansing from yourself and your you know your aura. Take a bath salt, which are very 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 good. Take a bath salt. It doesn't matter what kind of salt it is. If you have regular salt, go for it. And do a bath salt and just take out all that negativity, all that negative energies that might be around you regarding other people talking about your your plans. Um, and that's what I would recommend doing. Okay, let me know if you have any questions and concerns. Bless the be.